Okay, as promised, uh, doing another video about the Mortal Kombat um, release date, street date break footage. So technically it's not leaked footage, it's not early footage. Some people in the UK just got the game earlier than everybody else. The fault was not there, so I am not calling it a leak. But I'm talking about the Jax ending, which is textbook what we used to call problematic. Um... It's not a problem per se in that it doesn't do anything overtly wrong. It's a work of fiction, right? But there are things in it that I can see being issues for a lot of people. Um, in the ending, again, spoilers, um, Jax goes back and changes history um, even though Raiden warns him that if he changes too much, he, he could lose his wife and daughter. Um, but somehow, Jax manages to go back um, and change history to mean slavery never happened. Um, that's the implication. And yet, he still has his wife and daughter back. Happy ending in an Afrocentric utopia where it seems to be a bunch of black people in a Wakandan type setting. Um, and and I think there might be one non-black person there. So basically, Jax has created, apparently, a black ethno state. I shouldn't, I shouldn't need to say what's wrong with that. Um, I think it's a, first and foremost, as a longtime fan of Mortal Kombat, I think that's not Jax. Jax has always been a soldier, an officer. Um, he has served. He, he has never been racist that way. Uh, he is, he has never been a, we're going to keep to our own kind type. He's been an overprotective daddy, but He's, he's never seemed bitter in that way. And here's the thing about just getting on the time travel thing, okay? You can't, it, you can't go back and make it so that slavery never happened and then keep the people who were the, the result of slavery happening. We all agree slavery is terrible. I think a lot of a, a lot of people wish that it had never happened, but slaves were not immigrants to America. They were forcibly uh, moved to America, and their their descendants, their children, and their children's children are native-born Americans. They are not visitors. They are not guests. They are Americans who partake in American culture and. So much of American culture was created by black people that to go back and make this Afrocentric paradise, I I know, I know this is awkward, a white chick talking about this, but I know quite a few black Americans who feel very strongly that they don't want to dress in African costume. They are not African. They are American, damn it. And so they'll do the the saggy jeans and the b-boy gear and they'll buy stuff from like, you know, Diddy and Jay-Z and Kanye. But that's their culture. They see the African experience as a foreign culture. And I mean, Wakanda itself is not the result of slavery never happening. Wakanda is an African country, fictional, um, who wasn't affected by slavery, so they became this, this powerhouse in this fictional universe. And so the whole thing just seems to really not understand the history, how influential black Americans have, have been and why it matters. I mean, without black people, our music's completely different. Our, our, you know, popular dances are completely different. Our television now is completely different. And none of that happened if they didn't pick themselves up after not just slavery, but, but Jim Crow and redlining. You know, slavery isn't the only bad thing that America ever did to black people. 
And I think that this ending with its Afrocentric twists of, of someone who is, is not African, like Wakandans are, um, but is American, I, I can see people having a problem with that. Now, I'm not, I'm saying I'm not in a place to judge it because, uh, you know, I, I don't have those, those sensitivities. Um, I shouldn't say sensitivities. I don't have that lived experience. You know, that's not my story they're telling. But I, I do know people who feel extremely strongly that to, it's different up here because a lot, because our, our black people in Canada, most of them are immigrants. They came here willingly, whether that was via, you know, the Underground Railroad back in the day, or whether it's, you know, more modern immigrants from places like Jamaica or, or Kenya. Now, of course, black people are in Jamaica because of the slave trade too, but Kenya, Somalia, places like that directly from there, they don't have the same history of slavery. Um, it's different up here. So you do see the more Afrocentric dress. But down in America, I understand, uh, I've, I've had friends that, you know, friends that went down there and they dress the way people dress in Canada. And Americans like, why are you dressing in that costume? Dress American. And she had to, ass she had to assimilate because of that she couldn't wear the wooden jewelry or you know the afrocentric stuff there's a real sense of pride in in america about black contributions to the american experience it is their country and this is just so weird to me on, on that scale um it, it really seems it really seems tone deaf. It, it seems like, because I mean, let's face it, the, the development team on, at Nether Realms is also majority white. Perhaps this wasn't the best idea. Like, it really makes Jax out to be kind of scary and evil too. Like, the, 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 the humility of him just wanting to fix his family and that's all he really cares about and he just wants to he just wants to protect his I think that's something that everybody can get behind that seems noble in a in a working man's uh kind of way for him to take that power and fix everything else for everyone else people who have not been as lucky as him as he says did he ask them if, if they wanted it changed, did he ask them if they wanted to dress that way? Did he ask them if he wanted their experience changed or if they just wanted things to be better for them now? No, he didn't, which makes him a tyrant. Because one person of any race cannot, cannot decide for that entire race who they want to be. That's the worst kind of collectivism. It wipes out individuality. He's telling people what paradise is. He's telling people what's going to make them happy. And everything's better for everyone in, in, in this Jackson Briggs's paradise. That's scary. That's, J Jax has become a villain. That, that's scary. Anybody who's read any sort of dystopian anything knows where that goes. Because there always has to be an underclass. There always has to be somebody who's a have-not when you make a particular thing dominant. So it's, it, it's terrifying, eh? and I'm sure people accuse me of being a racist or appropriating or all that stuff. I've, I've made it pretty clear, no, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to speak for people. I'm just trying to point out that there is, <laughs> there is more than one black experience around the world and in America and in specific cities and in specific neighborhoods. All black people do not want the same things. They do not think the same things. They, it's not a hive mind. It, 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 and to think that one man can determine what is going to make an entire people happy, that's not heroism. It's just malignant narcissism. So they kind of ruin Jax, which is really disappointing because Jax, going back, has been one of my favorite recurring characters. I've always really liked him. Um, and I, I thought his relationship with Jackie in the last game was kind of cool like I liked what they were doing with him and then they do this it's 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 depressing isn't it that we're at this point that we're at this point that 
instead of it just being silly, uh, this kind of content's being put in and, and it, it, it's uncomfortable and it's awkward and I really wish they hadn't. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll wrap it there. Because like I said, trying to keep things to 10 minutes. Help support this channel. Become a monthly patron. Patreon.com slash Leanna K. This is still the best form of support while I attempt to get on the right side of the YouTube alg algorithm. Um, so thanks for watching.